Hello sports fans, we're back again for another smartphone speed test. John McCann, we've got five phones up, are you excited? I'm really excited, let's get going. So what we've got, we've got the iPhone 6s, Samsung Galaxy S6, LG G4 and the two new ones. The, the Sony Xperia Z5 and the Microsoft Lumia 950. So we've got a variety of chipsets here, running through really quickly. Apple's got its own A9, we've got Samsung with its own Exynos, we've got an 808 Snapdragon in the LG G4 and the Lumia 950 and the Snapdragon 810 in the Xperia Z5. That is correct and uh, they're all rocking free gig around apart from the iPhone which has got two two I believe, I believe yes um, so predictions what are we thinking what I mean what should do well here well previously the Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, has had a pretty storming performance yep. so I've got high hopes for that uh, especially with its own built-in you know Samsung's own process but one of the problems there is that the uh, one of the problems there is the games don't cache we saw it before yep. so whenever you're running a game it will open up and then when you go back to do it the second lap as we do in this test it will be have to reload itself again most other phones doesn't happen they kind of sandbox sit there in the background and wait and reload for you so that's gonna I think it's gonna handicap it quite heavily I mean the Z5 it's got a lot of power under the hood so yeah. it, it's definitely got a chance but previously Sony's have been a little bit slow on the startup so it'll be interesting to see if that hampers it this time yep and so in terms of the apps we're using here we're trying to get a real kind of real world feel for it really so we've got uh, Instagram we've got Twitter we've got mail apps we've got maps uh, in terms of the games we've had to alter that slightly this time so we've got Asphalt 8 and Fruit Ninja because Microsoft Windows 10 doesn't yeah that's have, all you can get doesn't on... have that many games so we've gone for those but basically it's a real world situation so the apps that you'll be opening and closing throughout the day and we're going to run them all through to, so there's 10 apps run them all through once then go around again so we'll see which ones sort of stay in the background open up quickly and we're just waiting for them to come live again so we're refreshing everything and working as hard as we can to make sure that they all work correctly it's going to be a ball exactly let's get into it okay and we're off again we're starting all these phones from boot I think this is really important because it shows just how powerful the chipsets are yeah you aren't going to be doing it every day but I think it does give an indication of how many apps are loading what's booting and what's really important and as we can see here everything's going starting up the iPhone's already in that's really quick it is amazing how different yeah. how differently the speeds are here Samsung's Samsung going. is in now but we're still waiting on the other three still and we're already well into Instagram on both the Samsung and the iPhone now LG has finally woken up we're still waiting on Microsoft actually but the LG's there it took a while to actually come in and as you can see the Sony we have some people before have said that's a screensaver we've just proven there that it actually isn't functional and why is it doing that Android app starting thing so even Microsoft's going now what's going on with Apple there there's a Spotify, Spotify. it says you're offline but it also says there connecting at the bottom so it, it is connecting so yeah. I don't know so Samsung's well ahead now we're now just loading mail yep. there uh, LG's catching up though it's already at Spotify that's great news um, that LG slow boot up from Sony though it's really hampering it yeah but it, sh it should be one of the most powerful phones on test Asphalt now loading on the Samsung again we're thinking this is going to be one of the problems for it Spotify I mean Windows phone is just taking a very very long time to do everything you, you can see the Sony is already starting to catch up a little yeah. bit apart from that really really long boot so gaming on the Samsung again, it loads so quickly. As they you do can... load very quickly, yeah. And as you can see, we're already into Fruit Ninja. The iPhone, out of Fruit Ninja, iPhone's only coming into it. it. Just shows you how far ahead it is. Samsung's about to next last thing to do, take a picture. Again, the camera's boat boots up really, really quickly. So it's already into the second lap. Now, how are we doing here? So in fifth place now, the Lumia it's starting to really drop behind. Again, LG and Sony both doing well on gaming. iPhone there we go we're through to the second lap and just watch how long the games take to load on the Lumia here it takes what feels like forever yeah and and again I mean if you when we get to Fruit Ninja we'll see I think Microsoft just doesn't have the same quality of apps it just looks low res it's a different version of the game right Samsung's into mail already it's quite a long way ahead at this point so again it shows that it can open and close apps really quickly so, so Samsung Apple and LG they're all on their second round yeah. of opening the same apps oh. we did the first time round but this is where it gets interesting because Samsung doesn't cache the game so it has to reload it again from fresh why do you think it does that I mean what's the benefit I can't really see you know if all the other apps Android phones can do it why does Samsung obviously it's a chipset thing why, why have that it would be a RAM saving yeah. so it helps you prioritize oh. the app that the you're iPhone's done. using the iPhone's done but Smashed Samsung's it. very, very close behind. If it wasn't for that gaming thing, the Six Samsung seconds. would have been very, very far ahead, even if you count for human error maybe for a couple of seconds yep. here and there. And LG's done as well, a very that's, impressive time. That's very impressive considering it's got the 808 chipset. I mean, that's not as fast as people think it's going to be. It seems to be working really well. You take away that fast boot, that slow boot time for LG, mm. it would have won the test. And it's now a case, it's a race for the fourth place right now I mean the Sony is disappointing it, it's got all the power under the hood yeah, yeah it, it, it doesn't seem to really portray that on screen which is, is really quite odd yeah and especially when you think yeah, okay maybe it was the boot up but if you see afterwards it doesn't catch the G4 which you know, again theoretically should have a slower chipset 
Um, it does really show here that Windows just isn't optimized for speed as well. I mean, you've got the animations, you've got the fact that it has to reload everything. Um, it's just the very, games here. very sluggish. Yeah, Obviously, I mean, this isn't general general usage. If, if you're just using it day to day, it won't be quite as obvious, but it just shows you in comparison to the other handsets on the market, just how different it is. But the key thing really here is that, yeah, you're right, but you won't notice it perhaps, but you press your phone so many times a day and you're losing time every second with the Windows phone. You haven't got the apps that we've shown here. The, the, the inbuilt apps work quite nicely, you know, the, the camera takes a while again though. So you see it's a long way behind. So if you want a Windows phone, you have to really want that continuum, those, those features it offers. It's not a standard smartphone in the same way the iPhone, Samsung, LG and Sony are. But uh, there we have it. That is our smartphone speed test for December 2015. The iPhone comes out on top, but to be honest, the Galaxy S6 is probably actually the fastest phone on a startup app basis. Yeah, and I think if yeah, the Samsung's probably the fastest phone overall because you're not going to be opening and closing games. I don't think it's going to matter too much if you have to reload Real Racing or Asphalt every so often. So I think essentially, yep, yeah, it's definitely the iPhone on the top, but Samsung really is the winner. Let us know what you think of the phones in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much.